over um, just a couple features here that may help with uh, managing your student participants during the Zoom classes. Um, in, in particular, just helping with any students that are misbehaving. So the first thing we thought about is when students just are using the chat and if they, they're saying anything inappropriate. So just going to security and if that chat is checked, then obviously it's enabled so students can use that chat feature. But if you uncheck it, okay, automatically the chat feature will stay disabled. So you can go ahead and cut off any inappropriate usage of that feature with chat. Okay, so just going right to that security icon, uncheck chat, and the chat feature will be disabled. So there's not, no um, there's no opportunities for students to uh, use that in an inappropriate way. Um, secondly, um, audio. Uh, we can quickly mute our students or participants. So you just can go to mute all, and you mute them completely. So your students, all of them at once, will not be able to say anything. You won't hear anything. They'll be muted. Um, one thing you want to note with this feature is um, it, you want to keep this unchecked so that they're not able to unmute themselves. If you do check this, they'll be muted initially, but then they can quickly just manually unmute themselves. So if you want to just be in complete control of what's being said, mute all, and then make sure this is unchecked. Okay, so mute all, make sure that box is unchecked, and your students will not be able to communicate um, through audio until you release that feature. Okay, so that's the other item that we want to come across or, or share with you. So again, mute all, and I'll give you this this option here. Leave this unchecked <clears throat> so that students cannot unmute themselves. Now, if you want to mute them initially and then let them, okay, you can go ahead and unmute yourselves. You give them that control. Yes, go ahead and check that box, okay? So I hope that is helpful. Um, and then the last feature that we wanted to cover with you is you can, if a participant is being inappropriate visually, on the screen then you can quickly go to that student go to more and you can put them in the waiting room or quickly remove them so again but the tricky part is you'll have to make sure that when they sign on before you accept them and admit them you want to make sure that you're verifying their name it's your student look at the roster last name first name um, from what I understand automatically your participants' names are listed um, alphabetical order. So um, I would encourage you to have your students um, list their last name, first name. So, so in the event that you see a student that's being inappropriate on the screen, you can quickly scroll here, go to the top right, go to more, and you can have them go to the rating, waiting room. Or you can quickly remove them. So that's another feature that we wanted to share with you um, just regarding any students that are misbehaving during your classes. So I hope that helps. Feel free to contact the tech team um, and let us know if there's any questions, anything else we can support you and help you with. Um, and uh, we'll talk soon.